Hello everyone, I'm Dumodeo. And I'm George. And, and we, we are Vintage Doll Hunters. On this channel, we'll be discussing and reviewing what we found on our latest Vintage Doll Hunt, sharing with you our opinions and our knowledge. We provide you, the audience, quality information based on our 10, 11 years of collecting experience, either from the homes of others or from our own collection. So join us as we reveal what we found today. Let's get started. Hello, hello uh, to our Welcome YouTube back. watchers. Back. Yes, how have you been? Welcome to our 50th uh, Vintage Doll Hunters episode. This is our wow, 50th yes. anniversary from, oh, oh anniversary, our 50th yes, episode. Yeah, right, quite a bit. So thank you for joining us today. This has been long waiting for us uh, to put together this video. So we hope you enjoy what we're about to show you. Yes, it took a little while because there was a lot of details to uh, that came across into this uh, episode. And this takes us back once again to our first episode when we brought this uh, Mattel modern furniture out. Yes, so. Yeah. But it was in very bad condition. And over the <laughs> years, you know, with the collection and collecting, we were able to stumble, uh, stumble upon pieces that are now just a little bit more nicer um, and boxed and well kept, so it would be a nice introduction reintroduction or reintroduction and also <laughs> you know a nice surprise for a 50th episode. so it may be a little bit of a deja vu i mean of course we look different but uh but what we're going to show you is a revamped version of what we've shown you before so we're excited to do yeah. that and along with that we also um created a duplicate of the mattel uh, <laughs> home or sorry dollhouse that they showed in the 1958 commercial that they show for the furniture yeah. it worked real hard and yeah and George really cool. went and got stuff to create um things to just kind of mimic the uh, house hopefully it looks well to give full credit tim actually is the one who built it i just helped with some other stuff but he did a really good job fabric uh, storage it's, it's really it's yeah. really awesome so uh can't wait to show you but thank you again don't forget to like and subscribe of course you know this is our our channel is now monetized so make sure to watch all the ads so thank you for everybody who's watched our channel thus far and t and continues to watch we're even yes. coming out with more content like short videos and unboxing videos so if you've seen those please give those a like as well but yes. let's move on to the meat of this show yeah watch those commercials too, yeah please yeah <laughs> all right so here it is dun, 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 drum roll. Ooh. Oh, I don't even know if they had a song for it. <laughs> I'm sure there is, right? But yeah, so this Whoa. is the little like, reproduction of the Mattel dollhouse that they showed the little girl in where she was kind of playing with the furniture. Yeah, I, 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 we'll see if we can throw an insert of the video, but it's really cool. Tim really uh, said, I want to remake this, and yeah. he sure the heck did. So this is pretty incredible. If you look at it uh, uh, from from the video stills, or just pause the video and look at this, it's pretty damn spot. Oh, it's pretty darn spot on. So he did a fantastic job. Good job. Is it three fingers on that side, George? Oh, uh, yeah. You got to measure it. Yeah. To make sure yeah. it's to make sure it's in it. frame and everything. Yes. But yeah, this is really awesome because this is where the fur that furniture is gonna go into. Uh, right. that we're gonna bring out but um with that furniture what's really cool about it is that like tim was saying it comes boxed separately yeah. in little packages well, let's, let's talk about this little structure real quick <laughs> we, we tried to uh we started to mimic uh, the commercial just so it was because it was a simple little owl arrangement so this area is, is supposed to be the uh, kitchen, kitchen area and slate stone was really big back then yeah so, you know that's kind of what that's mimicking but of course like a doll like you know yeah but, uh, and, and the thing that was tricky about it which was uh tim kept talking we kept talking about and he was telling me that because the actual commercial was in black and white oh, yes. he had to really decide what colors to do at first it was uh um it was just the browns brown, the right? brown the brown tiles but then we talked about it some more and he added in some color, which I think it looks, yes. it ties in with the blue wall the blue. perfectly. And then on this wall right here, that little painting, uh, that the is all- not there yet. Oh. <laughs> Oops, so, we'll see soon. Anyway, <laughs> so- I can't so see. Did we try to mimic somewhat like a wallpaper on this uh, yeah. fabric here? Uh -huh. And then with this uh, kind of, or, you know, was it paneling? And then we try to also keep like the wood, because, it was 
kind of big back then too with all the wood beams and the yeah styles. yeah 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 the the simplistic style of the mid uh, modern uh mid-century and then we style. kept the, the rug on more of like a beige kind of neutral like neutral. yeah because it, because when, when you put the furniture in you'll see the color is all very brown and like wood sort of uh textures and colors so we wanted to make sure something had yeah. contrast and if you look it does have a blue tint fabric and that's kind of where we try to like pull all that together from what mattel created with just the fabric that mm -hmm. they used for the furniture and just the hardwood coloring that they use so you'll see all that hopefully tied all together into this version of our uh, yeah review yeah so should we start yeah let's start all right so let's go ahead and start with the living room the first thing that they had were these big over fluffy couches that were in like a tan all can we show it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Here we're we just go, looking over. So here we go. Here, we go. why don't we start here? Let's let's go with the, the little book, which is really fun to have because it would come with all the furniture boxes, these little uh, things that you get. So you would get, get uh, so the first this one, inside. this one, right? The sofa. Yeah, we're gonna do the sofa. Let's do the sofa first. Stock number eight zero one. Oh, Retail wow. price is three dollars. Oh, and just a reminder, these came out. Before Barbie. Yes. Yes, I know. 1958. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So these actually were not made for Barbie. They're no. made for a little bit smaller size dolls, which we'll get to later. But yeah, yes, yeah, sofa. Sorry. They, they so said far. from 8 to 10 inch dolls. Yes, yes. So, so, that's what so this is a modern, sleek lined sofa with colorful. Well, you can't well, see you it. Well, you're not yet, but this is <laughs> this is what they would come in yeah. these cool little boxes. I mean, they were like neat little shoe boxes, but they would contain. I love it. I everything. love. I love the striped pattern on the outside between the the orange, the rust sort of color, and then that little vanilla yeah. color. So pretty and, and I, I, Yeah, it is so nice. And like I said, it's labeled with the uh, information yep. out, so you can see what it is. Uh -huh. And it's so neat how they just open up the box, and then inside is just that little, you know, sofa. So furniture. Cool. So let me go ahead and like pull it out very oh, carefully. Yes, Tim. Tim was uh, showing me uh, with the difference between some of the some of the. No, I told him I don't want to touch it. I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally <laughs> ruin something because the cushions on some of these pieces we're going to show you they're just like you're brand new furniture. We're going to have to set that up. And this is the commercial. Let me grab the book for you. It goes just right up against this wall here. So we're gonna go ahead and also, I wanna turn it around so you can see it. But that's kind of where it is inside of the uh, Barbie little house. No. Sorry, sorry. Oops, no. sorry, sorry. It's not Barbie. Hell commercial. No, he for, treat, for, well, Tim, actually, he uses it as a placement for like a, a little um, decorative spots in his display cabinets where yes. he does use Barbies he, actually anyway, which a lot of us do, right? So I mean, 10 inches, 11 and a half inches. I mean, it's not that, I guess, off, but it is. Yeah, it is. It's a big difference. <laughs> um, modern sleek line sofa with colorful decorated fabric upholstery. Three, uh, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths by ten and a fourth inches. Is that that? Or is this a dimension of oh, the so sofa? Oh, okay. So the next one is the other piece that came. Oh, the there. yeah, the the easy chair. The easy chair. The easy chair. Stock number eight zero two. Retail price was a dollar fifty cents. Modern sleek line easy chair with colorful decorative fabric upholstery. Three and seven eight inches by three seven eight so inches sweet. by four and a half inches. Here we go. This wow. And that's the one with the pristine, yep, the pristine yeah, cushion. Very fluffy. Very, no one very sat fluffy. on it. No one. No one sat on it. And you know, this chair, online there's this little thing going on where it's, there's a rare one out there and I'm not too sure what makes the, there are two different versions of it being rare. I was trying to think it was the angles of the arms, but George said, no, they kind of look the Why? Same. Yeah, I don't know. He was trying to explain it to me, and I said, to me, <laughs> I was trying to same. find it rare. But anyways, and I thought maybe it was the color, but who knows? This one goes right here. Here you go. Sorry, let me go ahead and get it. This one goes right here, right? Yes, this one goes up against the little wall. There you go. There you are. See how nice that looks already. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is the end table, right? Or yes. what do you want to do? Well, I guess the uh, or what do you want to do that the little end table so we can put it on the corner because okay the end table yeah. and lamp yeah follow the the, the little yeah guide. end table and lamp ah! Tim is grabbing it right now he has everything prepared um, oh or you really can show him show him first oh, here's that. <laughs> stock so here's the little end table mm -hmm. stock number eight zero four the retail price is a dollar twenty modern end table with chrome plate well that's the batter that's the lamp well with chrome plate I mean, let me show you the little chrome plate and lamp. 
chrome plated a lamp with colorful shade battery not included oh, wow. two and a half inches by two and a half inches by two and a half inches so it's a perfect square kind of ratio and let me show you about this little lamp this little lamp looks so nice and delicate it's really cool Ooh. comes with this detachable lamp shade let me put it over here for yeah. right now oh and what's really cool about this lamp it would come detached with the light bulb not in here and there's a little battery that goes through this little uh, you know twisty on it let me show you that online there you go and the battery slips right inside but with a lot of these old pieces the battery sits in there for so long george grab that battery for me and these little batteries will get stuck inside here and so you're like how do you get these out and what I had to do, um, serious, is get a drill and drill it. I was slowly drilling slow holes to get, can you have imagine this little battery just stuck in there? But eventually after drilling it out, I took them out and was able to clean it up and put some new batteries in there. It's a AAA battery and you go ahead and you wind it up and you go, oh, ah, another casualty. There you go. You're able to light it up in its little uh, case close it, screw in a light bulb. I bought some new ones online and we were able to find the right size and all you do is screw it right in there. And guess what? This little light turns on. So cool. Is that not really neat? So we're gonna go ahead and leave that on and we're gonna put the little lampshade right over, keep it really cool and neat. <laughs> oh, I'm like, King Kong, I'm gonna like rip through the little window structure here. There you go. Let me do it, I'm more delicate. <laughs> so that was on the little corner. They had that displayed in the commercial. Next. Oh, next on the next. list is, not the kitchen, no. Oh, wrong side. Um, coffee table. A coffee table. Coffee table, stock number 803, retail price, 80 cents? 80 cents? Why is it the cheapest one? Oh, I understand. Wow. It's just a piece of wood, I guess. A long, low table with tapered legs, two inches by two and a half inches by seven inches. Cool. Wow. I like that one, it's nice. And then um, the reason why this is called uh, modern furniture is because wow. back in the 1950s, this style was all the rage because it took over and it was very well liked because of its simple, uh, uh, minimalistic designs with clean lines and slight curves. For example, the reason why I mentioned is because these two tables, they have those slight curves. Oh. And um, it's a style that came from, um, the, uh, it's a Danish style. And it's funny, I was telling Tim <laughs> researching about it, you know, even like a, a, about a decade or two after they became popular, people over there uh, considered it grandma furniture. Oh. <laughs> And they, they have stories of people trying to donate it to thrift stores and the thrift stores didn't even want it. They're like, this is not gonna sell. We don't want your, your grandma furniture. <laughs> Nowadays, there's companies that actually still buy leftovers, uh, modern furniture stock, and they upcycle it and they resell it for a lot more money. That's and funny. I'm sure you all know that because of the fact that nowadays solid wood furniture, uh, that this kind of style emulates, it's, it's a lot more valuable because a lot of uh, cheaper furniture nowadays is compressed uh, wood. Yeah, yeah so. Sawdust. Hey, don't hate on sawdust. <laughs> Let's go on the next item. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to hate on. I like that kind of furniture. Um, the next down. is dining table and chairs. Oh, is that me? No, it's not. Is yes, it? it's you. Wait here. Oh, oh, right here. Let me read. Oh, there you go. Dining room and chairs. This goes into the kitchen area. Oh, look at that. Right. You gotta, Be careful. You gotta, you gotta, read, you gotta read it. Dining table and chairs. Stock number 805, retail price $3. Dull height dining table with two upholstered chairs, four and a half inches by five and a half inches by seven and three quarter inches. How funny, this has a label that says $3 as well, sold at Rogers Toy Shops. Oh. So let's go on over here. Well, so they even right told them how much room. it was gonna cost. Yeah. So we're gonna, ooh, the little box is not too bad. I not like that. Bad. Ooh, nice. You got the little chairs that go with it. Do you see the colors? Oh, I don't think we even showed this yet, but you see um, down here, there's the uh, Mattel stamp. Japan stamp. Yes. yes. So you know it's because, you know you it's, know it's Mattel. Mattel. It's swell. Oh, you know what I was gonna show you? Just real quick. 
Where is it? This one that I have here displayed behind us doesn't have a stamp. <gasps> I don't know what that is all about. Um, imposter! But it's there. There it is. The table. The mesa, as I like to say. Oh, the mesa. Or sorry, let to in Arizona. Mesa. Mesa table, they call it now. Right here, stamp as well. <laughs> so let's put that over there. And the oh. Fix that. I fix I got it. Don't go crazy. Here, I'll give you one chair over here. And it goes like right here. A little chair. Goes he's like trying to copy. Right he's right he's trying to emulate the exact same way the little girl did in the commercial. Mm -hmm, the way it was shown in the commercial. Neat box. You could put it so back in the plane. Let's put this right here. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, what's next? Next, they also have a buffet or buffet. buffet oh, buffet. that's me again. Yeah, I didn't have a box. I'm still looking for the one with the box. I hope they can upgrade that but, collection. This is it. Yay. Little this. buffet has a stock number of 806. And it also is a retail price of three dollars and fifty cents. Wow, stamp right there. That's a little more, and that's only one little piece. And the thing that we got to mention is that the drawers are fully functional. Yes, the drawers and the little door right here. Yes, see, it slides right open. Great so Michelle. cute. And this goes right here. And it says it has modern lines with realistic sliding doors and shelves. Perfect. Two and a half inches by four and a half inches by seven inches tall. Ooh, that is really neat. I nice. really like all that. That really filled up the whole thing. It's and what do we have here? here? Oh, there we go. Put another little here. Oh, the wall. Oh, that's right. I have the little painting that I recreated <laughs> as well. I put a little tiny nail there. So if you look, what I thought I saw in the commercial was, was sailboats. And some rocks, but you know, he can let us know. Oh, I know he kept different. He kept he we kept go he kept asking me where do you think it is? I was like, it, it looks like boats. I was like, well, what's that down there? Because you can't really see the lower part. He decided to put the rocks, like the sea, yeah. the sea crash against the side, the seashore rocks, but I don't know, literally it could have been a locust monster. Who who knows? And another thing I recreated, which I thought I saw in the commercial, was the little plant in the <laughs> You thought you saw? Well, I, I know it's there, but I'm talking about like what the leaf versions look like. Oh, so yeah. So he, this is all made by Tim. Uh, and then the rocks made by and the crafting. But, but the rocks are made by nature. Yeah, rocks are made by nature. So it goes up against the wall where the leaves go up there. It goes more into the living room. There, all that. there you go. There you go. There's one of the tubes that they bring in. Copyright. <laughs> you know, that's not how copyright works. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, I guess we're moving on to the bedroom. No, wait. I'm excited, man. We ever did that. It's, oh, it's re-showing you. Oh, wow. No. no, no, right here, studio set. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, you got that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's my turn. Studio set. Stock 810. Oh, let me grab it. Stock 810. <laughs> Retail price, $6.00. For oh, for eight inch doll only this one. Oh, what? Two convertible sofa beds with two upholstered bolsters and upholstered bolsters and upholstered foam mattress, table and battery operated lamp not included. Oh no! So Wait, this what? is a very intricate little how, setup. How do they show the studio set? And it says table and battery not included. What? I'll show you. Table and battery. It says it right there. Table and battery operating lamp not included. Well, no one, you know, see? And here I thought the whole time, see, that's why I don't get from reading. Sometimes I'm <laughs> paying attention. I was putting this in here so many different ways, trying to figure out how it fit mm -hmm. with the table in it. And if I would have known the table never went in there, or the lamp. I didn't say the lamp. No, that's what I'm telling you. It says right here, table and bat oh, battery operating lamp not included. What? So I was able to fit all of it in here. Oh my God, now I know. Now oh, I oops, know. never mind. I misread it. Now I know how to, I don't know how to read. Sorry. No, it does have the table and lamp. It says battery not included. <laughs> so, okay. See, this is why I, right. this is why I proofread my Instagram <laughs> posts like five times. So I did write. <laughs> Yeah, you oh, show them, figure it out. I like to show them. This is it. Okay, great. Okay. All right. We're done? Yeah, we're done. Now. Okay, so this set was really neat because it came with all these pieces. And it was really, I said, hard to get it in here. 
So let me pull it out. Be careful. Be careful. You get that thing oh going. Oh my God. It's really okay. like snug in there. Okay. So, but the biggest part of this was once again, this is pieces where wow. the cushions are not sat on either. And that's why I chose to show this. Mint. Piece. Mint. Because I didn't want George to put his finger in that. But he has to help. So here you go, George. Let's go ahead and set up the no, studio. No, he wanted set. me to help. I told him I didn't want to put my fingers on it. Gaslighting. And then Wait, remember it goes at an angle? No, so, well, you want to go over there and show it. Let's show it. I'm sorry. Let's show it. Look, there's a golden hair on your. It's mine. It's vintage. Oh, it's your golden hair. No, right? my hair's not that long. You're going to show him how it works. Let's go ahead and like open it up right there, how it goes up and down. Right here. I don't want to do it. I don't want to break oh. it. Ah! King Kong. So it goes down right there. And then what happens is this falls down. Right there, see that? And it turns into, it's supposed to be a little studio bed. Wow. You're supposed to be able to sleep <laughs> on it. There you go. So that's kind of the whole setup with this little fun piece. Nice. And it came in singles as well. And it came in the setup, um, how we're seeing it, how it came into a little uh, kind of studio set. But they did sell all these pieces individual. Nice. And full sets, like the whole living rooms that you see here, they sold that in a, in a bigger box. Of course, probably a little more money, but mm -hmm. the pieces we have are basically most of the ones that were individually sold and packed. So should I put it back up? Yeah, we can put that one back up since we showed that how it goes. And it did come with two little cushions. But which way to angle it? This this way? Yeah, it goes into like a little V, remember, half of it kind so of out. The other one? And then here goes a little table that came with it. Where does that go? This one, so we'll go ahead and put this here. So the little, this is, let me set it up for George. So this little couch would come somewhat like this. A little setup and it goes in an angle here. I'm just kidding. I just kidding. I know he was gonna put it back. <laughs> and it goes like something like that. One's a little yes. picky. One's trying to come in a commercial. He wants to be just like that little blonde. Oh, I don't know if she's blonde. Maybe light brunette. Yes. She looks similar to me. And this is the other piece, so it goes that way. So it looks like in a little corner. Right, no so diamond it, formation. Yeah, so it kind of fits, you know, not too close because how they how the doll's gonna walk over. Oh, you're gonna say something else. <laughs> I heard you. Well, you had it all the way out here. It didn't make any sense. Just do it. I am okay. And then the next thing is whoo, another little fun light. This one uh, took me a minute because even though it was brand new, that battery was stuck in there real good. Oh. Here. Oh, you really shoved that on top of there. Uh, but it, it, it's sturdy now that, you know, it's a new light. Thank you. The other pieces we had to let go. There we go. So that's the little studio setup. So here we go. We'll show you a little quick picture. But I think we should just, I was telling George, we should just turn it. <laughs> I'll well, we have a chance to just, you know, kind of look at it. So you can have like a visual. Turn it, so turn that, it and I'll watch it from this side. That's the way I said the, it was set up in the commercial. It was really neat. So you should stand on that side just, just in case well, anything tries to slip. Nothing up. should slip. Mm -hmm. So we want, I wanted to show. You're going to step in front of the camera. I wanted to show the way it went because I wanted to see that it was mobile. And you're able to see that. Look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous. Isn't that a gorgeous little setup? Yeah, yeah it I is. Love it. I would love a living room like that. I would. That's pretty. And then here we go. It's pretty moving back. Just a little dad. and mom, dad, a little bit. There we go. And what I wanted to show off was just a little. Uh oh. I'm running out oh, the kit. Oh, the kit. The kitchen area. Look how pretty. Oh, George is out of the camera view. Oh no. Let's bring it back here. Let's bring it back here. So I have measured it with. I told George three fingers on this side. Oops, sorry, George. Sorry. Okay. Three fingers on this side. Three fingers on that side. And three fingers on this side. Oh, no, there should be five fingers over here. But yeah, this is the little Mattel furniture setup. And we, what they didn't show you though, um, set up in uh, the commercial was the other pieces that they had. Yes, because there's more, y'all. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit more than And they, first up, they sure show. But what they did is they showed you um, after the the little girl was showing you playing with this furniture immediately right after they showed you the other furniture. And what was really cool, it was showed you how it functioned in the commercial. And I thought it was a cool little like ghost 
kind of sequence where it all oh, opened by itself and it kind of rolled around and showed you everything. The light turned on, but it was neat. So um, let's go ahead and go continue no, on. I only hand it to you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So we'll continue on, and George is going to bring out the dresser and the mirror. This is stock number 808. Retail price was $3.50 back then. It's probably worth like a hundred and some dollars now. Three drawer dresser with removable glass mirror. And it's three inches by four and a half by seven inches tall. You just like kind of slide it out. I put a little paper around the mirror because I just didn't want to, you know, ruin it, scratch the woods together and get that. So I try to take care of it, keep it up, you know, for either the next collector. Oh, no, look it. Oh, no. A little nail fell out. Little nail fell out. I can still work though, I'll make it work. Yeah. Like, this is the box. Let me put the box right yeah, here. Little really box. nice. This is probably one of the nicer ones I've seen out of the lot. Yeah. Well will put together. This is a little mirror tin package. This so nice. So I'll just remove the sleeve and yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it to see myself. But there I ain't said. no reflection in that one. I don't know. What I'm a You know, I don't know what happened to that one, but yeah, that one took a little beating right there. Little drawers. <laughs> I mean, it's not oh, mirror mirror. No, Mary. no, that's yeah. That's part of the blood stains after you know the murders. Okay, let me um, let me put it against the wall. Oh, over here. So it doesn't um just stand there. I think you should put it closer back here because you're gonna put the next piece. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna push this right here oh. for a second because it, it I don't want the mirror to fall off okay just for a second okay I don't because we're gonna go to the next one I guess right yeah yeah that's awesome I like that piece it's just as big as the other one now that I have them side by side the well, same yeah, size but it's, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's a it's yeah, yeah kind of departmental it. differently it's if you go to Sears yeah I know it's, it's it being it being the bedroom department yeah town thing <laughs> <laughs> This the next one. Okay, the next one is the bed. The mm. bed is like really cool. I mean, it's only two pieces, but it, the way it looks, wow, when it comes together. It's a queen size bed for these little beautiful dolls. Stock number 807, retail price was $4. Complete with removable headboard from foam mattress, Pillow and bedspread, two and a half by six and a half by twelve inch, twelve and a quarter inches long. And so that's long, twelve and a quarter inches. So that's saying it's at least about twelve inches long. Yeah, it's just a little bit uh, structured. So you just gotta there you go, play with the box. I would try to get with the the legs. Huh? <laughs> oh, I got it. Just a little bit of, of maneuvering because the box is kind of like. You know, will tip. But the thing that we're trying to, you know, keep its structure is the mattress and the blanket and the pillow. Do do so those those are the those are the two things that you want to make sure you you keep in in uh, in good condition. What you got that's, the box? Oh, because that's kind of uh, what? Oh, you got it. Thank you. That's kind of um, where the money is at. If you so, want to say is where the blanket. This blanket has never been used where um, there's uh, no dolls been laying on them. The cushion, unfortunately, it looks like, you know, through the time of them trying to put it in, put it back, as it was really hard to put this together. Um, well, I'm saying they put it together as easy, oh, two see. pieces. But the thing is, so show, show them how you kind of put that together real quick. So this just kind of fits in here, so you sit this. Little slides little right little in, slides yeah. Right, right there. And it's two easy little fun pieces are the way that, but the thing there is the mattress, the foaming and a lot of this stuff got hard and brittle. That's why we didn't want to really touch any of that or put dolls on it because it'll leave an impression because it's foam now to, to literally So nothing. be careful. Yeah, but this, like I said, this one, if you can see it has, uh, the still has the creases in it. It opens up yep. actually, George, from the bottom. Oh, sorry. It opens up and then it kind of lays over. There you go. And then the pillow is supposed to go underneath through the back. Right show them the little pillow. Oh. The little <laughs> tiny pillow. Oh, sorry. Did you even show them the bedspread? I made my bed differently. No, this, did you show them the bedspread? Yeah, I did. Oh, in, right in the video? In the video. Uh, oh, it goes underneath right here. Yeah, there you go. So, because I was saying, if you showed them the bedspread, you would have saw where the pillow went. So wow, you know. thanks a lot. <laughs> so then See, then here I am trying to be <laughs> nice. Nice. So then turn it. And I like the top part. See how that also matches the 
buffet, the buffet, the buffet, the top part. See that little netting up there, that like wooden. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Uh huh. I like that. I think that's really neat. And then the last part, which is really, I mean, to me, this is the coolest piece. I like this a lot. And this is the open wardrobe. The open wardrobe is stock number 809. And this is a retail price of $3, very moderate pricing. Collapse wardrobe with hold dresses for eight inch, uh, it will hold dresses for eight inch and 10 and a half inch dolls. Two drawers for shoes and accessories also include six plastic clothes hangers, four and a half inches by 10 inches by seven inches tall. So this piece, I, I like it a little 10 inches tall, I mean, 10 inches tall. This little piece, I like it a lot because it has these cool little hangers and I'm on the hunt for the rest of them. Um, I try to find them and go, you know, do every little function I can online, everywhere. But these hangers are so cool. They're plastic clear and they come six to each wardrobe set. And they came in this little envelope. I reproduced the envelope too, just to kind of try to make it, you know, similar to what you would get when you were opening. Did you seal it shut? No, no. You just actually, yeah, with those little tabs you let me oh, use okay. for your uh, your stuff. Remember, so you can just open it up. I just wanted to kind of keep it open. And then what you would get with these little cool little hangers. So they would give you six of them, but I only have five. So the first that I got came with three, and then I ended up finding some more, two more online which was kind of neat, but you would get a whole six set with these. Isn't that awesome? So cute. I thought that was cool. So cute. And then I like how you made the little bag true to the the way it came. Yeah, I mean, I seriously try to replicate the whole commercial uh, aspect of what you would saw on the commercial. I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah, but you know, what was cool with this uh, stuff here, like I said, they would come in other sets. One was a living room set, like I told you, where these pieces would come in, and then the other set would you would get with the bed, the wardrobe, this little dresser here with the, uh, and then a lamp. Nice. With okay. The, okay. With the little side table. Okay, so they can be kind of like if you wanted a mix and match yeah. sets, you can kind of find well, something. Well, but they would sell the whole set together, and that's how they would. Sell yeah, yeah, it. I got like you. Like the bedroom, but they would also sell the individual pieces. Gotcha. And they also sold the kitchen set with the buffet together. I mean, I know the I know the little brother commercial was playing and we, she was playing with the set and the furniture, but it looks like it could be set up like this too. Oh, sort of, I, like I guess. There's oh, enough I guess. room. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I yeah. mean, honestly, I would flip this though. I would flip the living room with this because I would think the bedroom would be over here, but you know, little kids. Well, you know, hey. like I said, it was for the commercial. Hey. It wasn't really just to kind of show it off just yeah. a little bit. Sure. And they didn't make that little <laughs> dollhouse, so I thought this would be really nice to show. Yeah, it. that's the cool part is you think that would be really neat if they actually sold the, the unit, like this whole setup, like I said, you could furnish it. it. <laughs> I mean, it all styrofoam. Yeah, yeah, really dense, nice yeah. styrofoam, yeah. Nice. But yeah, it's really cool. And as you can see and behind us, there's some mint. There were some pieces where Tim was gonna have me pull out like the little uh, dining room chairs because these cushions are mint. And I told him, don't give me those. <laughs> I said, leave those in the back just in case. But he did pull out some mint stuff. So I guess he wasn't that worried. Yeah. So, but I was gonna show you, remember? Oh, go ahead, sorry. Oh, and then uh, I like how we have the buffet right here, but he put little doll size dishes in it, which is really super cute. And if you haven't checked out yet, our short of uh, the opening of the reproduction for Auntie doll that's not sold out from its own creations, you can see that right behind us right here. Oh my God, you yeah. breath? No, I'm not. I have a long, a large lung capacity. And then he wanted to show um, you guys the intention of the size dolls yes. for some of this furniture. This is the first one here you go to. This is a, a Madame Alexander, Alexander doll. Mm -hmm. And she's a little eight inch doll. And I said, this sets were made for these little dolls. They would uh, use them. Well, some of the furniture spe specifies it's for that size like this one. But, the, but I don't know, it's kind of a gray area. I mean. She fits in there, I guess, so you can use it. Yeah, she sure how does. Cute. Oh, how cute. I guess I'm really excited. Sorry. <laughs> I've, been in a, I've been watching a lot of Disney movies lately. Okay. These, these character voices are coming out of me. Uh, and then her, we have a little bow doll, a little wow. doll. Come on, girl. So that would be like her size. 
Wow. This is supposed to be, like I said, eight to 10 inch little dolls. Because, um, as you can see, we could bring out an example. Uh, Barbie's just a tad, a tad bit too tall. Well, not too tall. I mean, like I said, that I said bed a tad, is just a tad. 12 inches long, that doll, that doll bed. So she wouldn't be able to lay on that. But we're not going to lay her on that. And then the it's same thing, the, the furniture, I've had uh, the furniture set up with the Barbie dolls where they're sitting on the yeah. long studio ones here. And they kind of sit very well. If it's very proportioned to them, uh, Tim has a really cool setup in a, in a vintage cabinet that he has yes. that kind of matches the same modern furniture look. And it looks really cool. It looks really nice. We'll see uh, if we can ever post some pictures of it. But it's so nice. Uh, this is such an incredible uh, uh a, a collection yeah. of this modern furniture. Again, a reminder: this furniture uh, was really big in the fifties. It's still like King has a, it's, it's had a resurgence to this day. And I know Tim really loves to have uh, can get the hands on modern furniture pieces, whenever he yeah. can. Yeah, so I got a pieces, a couple pieces from my dad. Yeah. Oh, oh and this one was for my aunt. No, no, I'm I like, hated that. Yeah. No, I know, but I wasn't saying this was. Well, no, actually, part. this was in a home. This is because a lot of structures. Well, I'm sure. But it's not modern, modern, was it? Well, from then time. Well, anyways, it is. Well, I was going to show more of the pieces. That's what I was. Oh, like, going to show. So you see the left right here? It's kind of all tore up. But, turn it on. It but it's still. It, it, right here, it's the little, the little guy. I know. They all turn on. Kind of spooky, like Halloween. Oh, it's almost Halloween. Oh my God, that one's really spooky. Yes, it's all tore up, but it's nice though. It's nice to have. Oh, and he built a. Uh, what he did is add up popsicle sticks. He made shelves like this, like he was talking about his personal shelf, and he actually had it. Um, you had it on the wardrobe, right? Yes. Yeah, like it was a shelf. It was really cool, real neat. But yeah, this is really fun furniture. Really um classic. You know, nowadays uh, doll furniture, you know, is pretty wild. It matches the aesthetic of a lot of these crazy newer dolls you see. So you don't really see things like this anymore. It's such a, even this alone wasn't even made for Barbie, but it became something yes. for Barbie, you know, evidently by the collectors. Because, you know, Barbie eventually kind of got her own fixtures and furniture. And over time, it just got more uh, different, we'll say. A little tea. Yeah. But it was really nice, Tim. It's really nice to yes, it was fun making this. I mean, it took yeah. a while. But it was really, at the end, it turned out really great. Yeah, I'm really, George for helping. Oh yeah, and I'm really happy to uh, be back on his 50th episode to yes. kind of circle back yeah, around. Yeah. And yeah, 50th to circle back yeah. around and connect back to our first episode and why like we started I, this channel. For that one. We, uh, we, 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 we still, I still owe Midge everything because she was yes. the reason why we even started this journey was finding a lonely little Goodwill Midge. No <laughs> Random with no head. Well, he found the head uh, somewhere separate in the store, of course, naturally. But we're just so happy. Thank you guys again. Yes. Uh, we're so excited that our channel is now monetized. It truly means a lot right. to us. But if you want to donate and help yes. support our channel directly, you can do so by donating to our mm -hmm. Venmo at Vintage Doll Hunters. That's the best mm -hmm. way if you want to support us. If not, just please continue to like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Watch the commercial. Yeah, watch those commercials. That's how you get paid. You, know, you can run to the restroom real quick or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wash your hands. Heat up your Please. ramen bowl or something. Yeah. Well, careful. Oh, careful. The whole table just oh, shook. Sure. No, you got sorry. real excited. They already. What are you talking about that? I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Leave that by us. I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. thank you, you guys, so much. Yes. So, George, I think. That wraps up this video. Yay! Thank you guys for joining us. Um, please remember, uh, if you have any vintage dolls up in your attic, down in your basement, or up in your closet, you could reach out to us because potentially we could help feature that collection in a future video. So thank you guys so much again for joining us. Please stay tuned for our future videos and our fun shorts and unboxing yes. videos. We might do an actual video of an unboxing at some point, but we'll have to tie in with our vintage doll okay. sort of storyline. But thank you guys so much. See you next time. Thank you again. Bye. Happy 50th video. Happy 50th video. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time.